Kia ora everyone, SJ here from NZ Fight Report, welcoming you back to yet another episode covering combat sport in our very own Aotearoa. At the end of July, KO Promotions was back with their 19th instalment of Capital Punishment here in Wellington. Some sensational fights went down and our New Zealand Fight Report crew were there to check it out. Our first pick of the night was John McInnes of MTI in the blue corner versus Adam Finn of TPK Whanganui in the red. From the outset, this was pitted to be an exciting face-off between two of the heavier contenders of the night. Both started off tentatively testing each other's skills out by exchanging some quick but solid punch combinations. Round two saw Finn throw solid whips, but it was McGuinness that inched ahead with some powerful straight right counter punches, delivering a standing eight count. In the final round, it was McGuinness and his impressive aggression and relentless combos that after two further standing eight counts, earn him the win by referee stoppage. One of the crowd favourites of the night was the highly charged match between Chris Eads of Combat Room in the blue and Tom O'Ward from Jai in the red. They got straight to work and throughout the fight traded sharp knees and throws in the grapple with neither willing to concede. Both fighters displaying great rhythm and temperament throughout the bout. Eads used stiff jabs and front kicks to keep his range and Ward countered with timing, wide left hooks and leg kicks. After a strong technical battle, it was Ward that came away with a split decision win. Another epic battle took place between Kemo of K9 Kickboxing in the blue against Alexi Serapisos from Jai in the red at 58 kgs apiece. O displaying his Taekwondo styled kicks and stance forced Serapisos to take a more calculated approach as he picked out O's weaker points. As soon as Serapisos was in range, he unleashed a full arsenal of devastating elbows and uppercuts from within and just outside the clinch. Both fighters drawing each other in with timing and hard leg kicks. O's countering attempts were just not enough to stop Serapisos from taking the bout with an impressive unanimous decision. Full credit to the guys for a great fight. KO Promotions put on another great tag team this time between Tumwana Nelson's Sam Spate and Leon Tangaroa against MTI Wellington's Ian Charlton and Andrew Bloodbath McGrath. For those that are not sure how a tag team works, it's three times three minute rounds with a chance for team members to tag in and out after each one minute interval. These matches are always highly charged and entertaining for the crowd. It was Andrew and Sam who started the match, diving straight into the clinch. Ian, the southpaw fighter, throwing his trademark overhand lefts, while Tangaroa looked continuously aggressive. This remained a theme throughout the fight, with both Nelson fighters charging straight into their rounds with such anticipation and forward momentum that they often use their grapple and throws, with both teams ending up on the ground from time to time. As the rounds progressed, we saw some stunning elbows and spinning back fists by Ian and Leon. Andrew was the only fighter to stay in for consecutive rounds, putting in some gruelling yards. Sam, continuing with his dominant form, landed a series of punching combos and managed to catch and trip the MTI fighters in their stride. After an exhilarating nine minutes in the ring, it was the team from Nelson that came up victorious. KO Promotions will be back on the 13th of October in Lower Hutt with Deadly Debut 18, showcasing up-and-coming talent, including an 80kg four-man tournament featuring some of the most promising fighters emerging in this weight division from the Lower North Island. Capital Punishment will be back in early 2013. But before we go, our friends over at mmagear.co.nz have an awesome feature where you can purchase gear from the website, have it delivered, Try it on, and if it doesn't fit, just send it back to them. They'll even supply the postage bag to send it back. You can check them out online. The guys have given us some gear to give away to our viewers. To go in the draw to win a MMA compression shirt or a pair of MMA shorts, simply go to our Facebook page, like this video, share it and comment on our page letting us know you've done so, and you're in the draw. Easy. Also, don't forget, we have the Aotearoa MMA Expo coming up on November the 3rd at the ASB Showgrounds in Epsom, Auckland. It's the first event of its kind in New Zealand, with over 50 exhibitors, as well as a fight show on the night, demos and the chance to meet and greet some of this country's most elite fighters and talent, including a couple of our UFC fighters. Stalls are still available. If you're interested in exhibiting, you can contact the organisers via these methods. Well. That's a wrap from me, I'll catch you next time.